Organisms like plants are photosynthesized, chemically combine water with carbon dioxide, making carbohydrates and oxygen too. That's why photosynthesis should matter to you. The light reactions of photosynthesis is first phase, the outputs ATP and NADPH. O2 is the byproduct, and as you can see, the inputs are water and light energy. Phase 2 is the Calvin cycle makes carbohydrate, using up the ATP and NADPH while absorbing CO2. It's carbon fixation photosynthesis. What a sensation. Light reactions happening in leaves, making oxygen, NADPH and ATP through a solar charge current of electricity, converted into chemical energy. Chloroplasts are the photosynthesizing organelle. You can find them in leaves in a mesophyll cell. Inside chloroplasts is a fluid called stroma. It's true everywhere from Tokyo to Roma. The stroma bathes tiny sacs called thylakoids. Membrane-bound sacs with a tiny space inside. The thylakoid's membrane is loaded with protein. It's the light reaction's main scene. It also has pigments like green chlorophylls, orange carotenoids, and yellow xanthophylls. These pigments absorb light that's mostly red and blue. The green is not absorbed, it reflects back to you. Every chlorophyll has a porphyrin ring with magnesium atoms in the center of that thing. In the light reactions, that magnesium gets pinged by photons, making its electron zing. Notice the chlorophyll's tail, a hydrocarbon chain which anchors chlorophyll into the thylakoid membrane, a molecule style so pretty in the thylakoid, it makes electricity. Light reactions happening in leaves, making oxygen, NADPH and ATP through a solar charge current of electricity, converted into chemical energy. Engelman showed us the action spectrum. He used a prism to break the sun's light into its many different colors, shown it on an algae called Clodophora. The O2 algae mix will stimulate bacteria, which will grow on any oxygen-rich area. Bacteria loved it over blue and red, but hardly grew over green, they might as well be dead. This line of growth, it's a reflection of photosynthesis's action spectrum. Note this doesn't match exactly the absorption spectra of chlorophyll A or B. Cause the carotenoids and xanthophylls we've met absorb light frequencies the chlorophylls can get. And in the thylakoid, they all cooperate in making ATP and NADP. Light reactions happening in leaves, making oxygen, NADPH and ATP, through a solar charge current of electricity, converted into chemical energy. Light reactions happening in leaves, making oxygen, NADPH and ATP, through a solar charge current of electricity, converted into chemical energy. <laughs>